In the DAC 12 Northeast Conference Clash, Sioux Falls Christian faced Groton area. Second quarter, Tigers trail by four when Broden DeHoot catches and buries the corner triple for three of his game high 28 points. That part of a 13 to four run. Chargers by one. Late in the first half, game even at 22 when Noah Van Donker's good. Flies by his defender, gets the hoop and the harm for three of his team high 19. That part of a 9-0 Chargers run as they lead 29-22 at the half. Third quarter, Sioux Falls Christian keeps rolling as Carson Van Beek spots Xavier Van Beek for the easy transition layup. The junior added seven and Sioux Falls Christian earns the 62-47 win over Groton area. Lennox and Sisseton cross pass in the game prior. Second quarter, Lennox is off to a hot start when good ball movement leads to Josh Arlt, who buries three of his game high 24. And Lennox leads 28-13. Later in the second, Sisseton will go on a 6-0 run. And add another as Xavier Donnell grabs a steal. He'll then fly down the floor and flip in two of his team high 17 points in the Redmen trail 28-21. Second half, Lennox leading by 10 and adds on as Caleb Johnson finds Will Doherty. He'll bury the right wing triple for three of his eight points, and Lennox wins their 13th straight with a 74-53 win over Sisseton. Dakota Valley and Clark Willow Lake also met in the DAC-12 NEC clash. Second quarter, Panthers lead by 11. Drew Addison spots Paul Bruns, who hits the turnaround jumper for two of his game-high 33 at part of a 13-2 run. DV leads 23-10. A few possessions later, the Cyclones are trying to cut into the lead and do. Stone Burke's going to connect from the corner for three of his team high 19 points. The Cyclones trail by seven. Then late first half, the Panthers starting to pull away as Chase Montang flies up court. He'll find Isaac Bruns, who lays in two of his 20. And Dakota Valley picks up the 67-53 win over Clark Willow Lake.